afternoon, John. Tony. All well, well with the doctors, yeah. Quick stab in the arm and away we go. I'm just coming out to finish this pot. I've been messing around with my cameras. Hello, what's happening there? Messing around with my cameras. I think I've lost two cameras. I can't seem to get them back. Something's bouncing inside there. Not sure what it is. There's a bit of piff. A little bit of piff. Hmm. Yeah, so I've lost two cameras. I can't work out why they're freezing at the moment. Um, I might get out of OBS and find another bit of software. in a little bit because the wood where it was wet has probably moved so red 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 stop 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 I just want to get this down to sort of six mil I'm a bit thick there um, yeah so I'm gonna have to mess around with that some more don't know quite what's happened with it Measuring, I don't want to go too far. About there. It's a little bit thick at the top here at the moment. I'm going to try and get it even before I put a light in it. And uh, so I thought, well, I'm going to record this and make a video. So while I'm recording it to make a video, I thought, well, I might as well put it live. If anybody's about and they want to watch it, they're more than welcome. So we're getting about six mil there. Eight there. And that's where we get thick. Just on that line there. I'll put it all back in the handle now. And I'll get a visual on the outside. As to how deep I want to go, I want to go sort of there ish to that line. That's where I want to start. So if I go in, I can fill it there. Ah, hold on. A load of bowl gouge on the lathe bed. Move that out of the way. And get back in there. That. Got a sap on the old cutter there. Thank <laughs> you. 
Check, check, check. Check it out now. It's thick right down, just in the bottom there. Just in the bottom, so it's still a bit thick. And get it as even as possible as we're going along here. Right, so I need to get <coughs> down the middle there. Use take too much out of there just enough just enough nothing better to do on the afternoon day eh? sit on the old computer Raise that tool rest up a little bit for the bottom bit. Make sure I'm getting in. I'm getting in there. Just in there. Got her now. Hopefully. Just hopefully. Yeah, it's gentle in the bottom. Squeeze the hand to pull it back towards me. Got a bit of vibration there, not cutting well. down at the bottom of that old transition line and uh, we can easily go a bit thin there nearly 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 about 10 there we're all right there Slowly, slowly, catchy monkey, as they say. Ah, that's why it's not cutting so well. Clean that tip out a bit. Slow feed in, just into the bottom. Ooh, that was a bit rough, wasn't it?
try that. I have to just keep checking as we come through here. Keep checking out, checking out, checking out there. Feed the cut around. I do, I'm just reading some of the, co the comments there. Yeah, just rotate the tip a little bit as it gets dull. That's still all right. That's got the bottom. Let's just check the old side. little bit at a time. Shavings out. Not too bad. Don't get too greedy. A little bit down the bottom. A little bit more. That don't. That sounds thinner than that my caliper's telling me. Showing ten. Can always use the light to just check it. Yeah. yeah. Right at the bottom there is my problem. Right there. That'll be the base. We'll pair that off. I think that might do for a minute. I'm just, just going to run a scraper in there just to clean her down. Turn that light off again on the inside. Uh, grab me scraper. To rest back a bit. Yeah, it's gonna take the little bumpy bits out now.
front there just filler and just see her let's get rid of that Sand. Now we'll turn her around. And see what we've got to do to the outside shape to retune it. Must clean this lathe bed off. It's pitted. I was spraying water on it earlier. Way. And yeah, I'm going to try and edit this all up into a video later on. Yes, got two cameras. It's the two, uh, I've got two Logitech 720s and two stream cams. And the stream cams are not playing ball. Just not playing ball at all. They just won't uh, zoom, won't focus, won't do anything. Just won't, won't. Get rid of me air light. And I'm just going to knock a light off. So I've got a, more of a visual on this. Now the stain is going to look a bit odd as we do this as well see where she's a little bit thicker down the bottom not too bad just there now i can take a little bit off with a gouge just a very light cutting for there
Uh, the whole thing's moved since it's been standing. Not a lot. Feel like cut. Round a little bit, just there. do me and all tools sapped up a little bit on and give it a sand down got the stain on there and that can come off get rid of that light don't need that get lights back on get the extraction on all that sort of stuff supposed to be working and I'm not I'm doing this instead far more fun <coughs> well, I've got a little brush, brush somewhere clear them sandpapers up from earlier Somewhere safe, I'll put a brush. 
we'll get the time to tidy this workshop up at some point. Christmas Day. I'll be out inside of my workshop. That one I do, I can use a brush to uh, tidy out the sandpapers from earlier. Get rid of that sap out of that. Oh, that a, that's, a, that's an 80. Let's give this a sand round. I can see it drying out now with the dust that's coming off, it's different. So we've got nothing better to do this afternoon than watch uh, YouTube or be in the workshop. Should dry out as we're going. a bit more than normal because I want to use the heat of the sand and just to dry the last bit of wood out. I 
programa. É. See the way the dust is coming up now that she's drying out a bit. Still fill it damp. Sander in there. I need me lumbar sander. sander on the inside and uh, bring that back to there clean it up a bit from the inside
Đây đó. See how wet it is on the inside, all clogging up the old sandpaper here. Let's get another bit of sandpaper on there. Call it sandpaper, it's not sandpaper anymore, is it? Cloth. Cloth. And the insole, put it in first. On the outside, that should be about it. Now I'll go through the grits and then add the colour. See the dust coming off it now, so it's getting plenty dry enough. Nothing sticking to that anymore. Right, there's no marks in it, so we will just now whip down the grits. I'll go down to uh, Go down to 320, we'll do it, it'll be enough. And start applying a bit of colour to her. 
just quick wipe round with each grit. to there a bit more. Let's do sand in there. Lip a little bit. time at the moment. Thought she would have stopped by now. Splash of green. Just a chestnut spirit stain. 
great on this sort of work. Just while that's drying, I'm just going to take away a bit of this waste wood at the bottom, get that out of our way. Organised chaos, dude. walk top and put that somewhere safe. Uh, oh where? See what I'm getting with this little free ape. I just want to take undercut this a, just a tad more in there. Now I can't get in with that.
bandit hiding. My little quarter gouge. Now I'll just allow me just to get in there. Take that under a bit. That'll be better, huh? That'll be better, huh? Make sure I've got the depth right. Yeah. Somewhere safe in a minute, won't be able to find it again. the truck funny looking goblet in it Matt that's very kind of you didn't have to do that mate I'm just messing around I'll finish that bottom bit. There. And now we sand the colour off. So this is back with 320. paper off Go back over it with some green. What it's done at the moment is the sort of softer grain it's sunken into to give it that shimmer. Let's give it a nice 
light coat of green over the top of this. over it while it's still wet with a 400. There's a lot more green left behind. Then we give it another coat. real silky shine to it. And then give it another 400 sand. Mark there, I'd like to get rid of. That's it. Just wait for the dust to kick out. So that shows me it's dry. There we go, just going now. We give it a heavy coat.
Oh, nearly tipped it all over the place. Last sand of 600. What's going on this afternoon? Right, okay, everybody good? So this is just a 600 now. We've gone over it with uh, 320, cut the goes with 400. Six hundred. Dust is coming off it so she's dry. Right now. Let's make it go pop. Some yellow. Look at that, looky, looky. You see the shimmer on that? Shame about that pith flying down there, but... I didn't realise we had pith running all the way down there. But, what a shimmer there. Ignore that bit, the pith. Get that out of the camera, look at that. Very smart. I'm just gonna go over it with a bit of dry towel now.
I'm quite tempted to give that another patch of yellow. a light coat. Just one more coat, like one more cut, isn't it? One more cut. Funny coloured uh, football, but yeah, an American football for our American friends or, oh look at me, nice, 230, it's all dirty, looks like proper legs now. Sanding sealer. Yeah, no, it's like a proper lathe now, it's dirty, Rob. They need to be like they've been used. It's got paint down it. I've only had it, what, a month? Fantastic. That's the way it should be. Painted lathe.
Yeah, you can buy their head only. So, uh, hold on. Who was that? Douglas, yeah, you can just buy the head. That, oh, hold on. That bit, the head. This bit, the head. You can buy them, we sell them. You can buy the arm separate, the long arm. This comes as a kit, or you can just buy the head. Nothing like a dirty lathe. And watermelon, yeah. Look at that. It won't take long to dry. It's almost dry now. Now, let's put some lacquer on it. Watch it shine. Good dude, I sold mine as well. I have one covered. Well, off it went. Fella said, don't worry about the paint. Add something to it, doesn't it? Personalised lathe. Right, just going to turn the speed down a little bit and we'll give it a coat of melamine lacquer. Get the chuck as well, that's the way to do it. Does this shine on there? Eh? Too nice to make a goblet out of. <laughs> Some people might have said it'd been better as a goblet, but hey. I don't know how well that shows up on the old camera, but oh, it's not too bad. Could do that, that light shining down on it. I can't get rid of that. Ooh, yeah. uh, can't get rid of that properly, but must get a filter. No problem, Mike. We're doing our best with getting orders out as quick as possible. Possible. Douglas, how much? Off the top of me, mate, I don't know. Oh, I've got my phone with me, I'll tell you. Uh, I'll tell you in just a second. Uh, abrasive. Abrasive paste, sand master, da -da -da -da. some of the sand in the system. It's on their own, £19.50. Thought it was about 20 quid. Yeah, people like them with a bit of character, a bit of paint and all that. The shimmer on this, the camera's not doing it justice, trust me. I mean, it's really really nice it's got a real silky effect to it and the depth of the where the colors of green's gone in and washed with the yellow is uh yeah nice it's very nice ron would do go and do some turning that's what it's all about i'm supposed to be doing some working this weekend is uh, a big shopping weekend for online. And, I mean, it's been busy up to now. <coughs> but I've got a stack of orders to sort out. Otherwise, I won't be getting comments like, that was a quick delivery. We are be holding on the carriers at the moment. It will be, Oliver, have you got my order out yet? No, it's stuck in a pole with 50, 60 or 100 others. Yeah. <laughs> the 
very funny, Colin, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think I need more than one injection to make me an half-decent turner. <sighs> I saw that bit of wood this morning and as soon as I started paring it back and I saw that patination there, I thought, I can't make a goblet out of that. Everybody sees something different in wood, you know. We've all got our own things and uh, if you like slapping a bit of colour on stuff, you can instantly see if you've got a silky, grainy piece of wood that would look good with colour. And... Uh, yeah, there was no way that was going to become a goblet because my goblet could have gone flying across the workshop. Better than Mike Waltz, to be fair. But I will do one next week. I've got a bit of ash over there. And uh, I will have a go at a goblet. <laughs> not, not my let's go to thing. Let's make a goblet. Yeah. Yeah, this takes about 20 seconds to dry. 20 minutes rather. I need another coat. I've got Mrs. Oliver's air dryer. <laughs> Let's get this a quick wham on. Come on, get, get the old plug in the socket. There we go. coat of lacquer and then I'm going to love you and leave you because I'll let this coat dry properly and then I'll give it a coat of burnishing cream to really shine it up make sure that's nice and even don't want any run marks Ooh, no run marks That looks all right. That looks cool. I'll get rid of that light. I just block that out a little bit. You see the shimmer on that. Yeah. Shame about that bit of piff. Nice wood turning. That. Even that side with the shimmer, smart. Uh, what I'll do is once it's had a few coats of latter, we'll see, I'll uh, give it a coat of burnishing cream. Just a cutting compound, but that won't be until much later because the lacquer dries in about 20 minutes, but takes, I don't know, I can't remember how long it takes to fully cure. I haven't got my glasses on. Uh, I think it's something like a day or something like that. Those contain no CFCs, no. No, I need my glasses on. Over the label put. Straight well before use, 12 inches. Lacquer will be touched dry in minutes. Once completely dry, it can be sanded. Further coats applied. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, Put wood wax 22 over it or whatever. You can do all sorts. But what I'll do is I'll let that dry. Give it a sand. Might give it a sand. I'll see how, I don't want to touch it now. But I'll make sure it's smooth. Uh, and then I'll do a um, burnishing cream is my favourite. 
but I want the lacquer to go on there. It'll probably get a few more coats actually to make try and make it look like a piece of glass. That'll be pretty smart. Glad you enjoyed your afternoon, Rob. It was a bit of while I'm recording it, I'll uh, stick the cameras on. Thanks, Richard. Glad you've enjoyed it. Now, I'm not going to burn right through the lacquer. The lacquer will be dry by the time I start all that. Um, this is now a process, you know? So. Cheers, Woodley. I'm quite pleased with that. It was just such a lovely piece of wood. Yeah. So, we might do a goblet next week. <laughs> you never know. I'll find the ugliest piece of ash I can. So, it's definitely a goblet. Christmas goblet. Hello, Kevin. Thanks, mate. Glad you've enjoyed it. Well worth saving, I think. That piece of wood, look at that. Yeah, even with the light reflection on it. Yeah. Thanks, Douglas. Glad you've enjoyed it. It wasn't supposed to be an afternoon demo as well. Cheers, Mike. Yeah, normally when I'm applying colour like that, it might even get 20 coats. I might sand it back, add some more, sand it back, add some more. But I, I just think it didn't need a lot of colour. Just something simple. So two coats was enough, you know. There won't be any stem, Rob. This will get parted off. So it comes and sits just on a little base. Yeah, goblet next weekend, John. We'll definitely, 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 definitely maybe do a goblet. Spiral goblet. Oh, curly maple. Spot on. That will look stunning. Just two colours, though. If you've got a lot of atnin in the wood, just two colours. Some, I, I normally build them up and I'll add six, seven colours in there, but that, it's just got a real lacy sheen to it everywhere as well. Just two colours. But apply the first colour a few times so the softer area it sinks into further and then you get this tonal effect to the colour. It looks like, it's, I don't know, yeah, smart. Two colours. Oh, on the goblet for the spirals. Well, someone wants captive rings. Someone wants spirals. So, spiral captive ring goblet. That'd be fun. That's thin and tall. I'll best have about 10 pieces of wood. Perhaps I could do a captive ring. <coughs> Separate. <coughs> a bit of dust. <coughs> captive ring separate then when the goblet snaps and flies across the workshop I could pop the captive ring on the stem glue the stem back together so you do captive rings in it uh, and then that'll do it Rob's doing a three cornered goblet fantastic <laughs> with colour yeah, so we'll find a nice bit of wood. I know, I'll use a piece of my uh, burr horse chestnut. I'll chop it up to make a goblet out of it. Yeah, no, 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 no. That ain't happening. It's definitely not happening. No, 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 no. I'll leave that mic walk. <coughs> 
Actually, when it's done, I might send this to Mike and say, there you go, mate. Replicate that. Get your stains out and do some colouring. Right, people, I've got to go and do some proper work now. Otherwise, people will not be getting their Christmas presents. Not from me. Like, I've got to send the stuff out so they can wrap it up, make out it's from Santa Claus, you know, down the chimney and all that. Have a pleasant afternoon. Oh, well, first goblet was spiral stem and two captive rings. Hmm. <coughs> I don't know if it's down here. Oh, yeah. Hold on. I'll show you this before I disappear. There we go. Where should I put that there? That was my first goblet. I've only done one other, but that was done. Uh, I spent a couple of days with Stuart Mortimer. So this is one of his designs. So we cut the spiral in it. It's a bit of old Sir Peely. He didn't waste much on wood. Um, but yeah, that was a few years ago now. But of my first goblet. I kept it. Um, I like the shape. Um, but I'm not a goblet fan. But I kept it because it was an experience with Stuart Mortimer. Fantastic turner. Super artist. Eye for detail. Unbelievable. Um, and you need to spend time with people like that, realistically. Because <coughs> they have got some skill. Uh, and if you want to learn, you learn a bit of their skill and pass it on. Ooh, that's dry. I can have another coat while I'm standing there. I didn't think I'd get another coat on this yet. Not too much, little and often. Yeah. Right, I'll let that dry and then I'll sand that up later on. Right, people, <coughs> go about your business this afternoon, enjoy yourselves. Ah, well done, Douglas, yeah. Did you go on a course with him? See, I'm talking again now. Did you go on a course with Stuart or did you buy one of his masterpieces? Right, people, I am away. You are away. Um, take care all. Cheers, John. Take care, everybody. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Think about me working. Me little fingers to the bone. Um, but. Little jobs like this make it all worthwhile, don't they? I want to get back in me workshop proper. I don't get in here enough nowadays. I have got a plan. I am going back to the workshop. Because I've got a few pieces that I've got to finish. Right, people. I'm going to end the stream. Thanks for popping by. It was just impromptu while I was recording it and then I'll piece together a video um, so that <coughs> we put a video up of the process rather than the stream. I'll take the stream down uh, this week at some point. So enjoy yourselves. Have a good weekend. See you later and goodbye.